welcome back to ES6 tutorial series where you will get to know about the latest standards for writing the JavaScript. So let's firstly talk about the callback hell before going to the promises. So I have created three files, ajax.php, echoing out I'm from PHP file, ajax2, which is going I'm from ajax2 file, and ajax3, I'm from ajax3 file. Okay, that's nice. So what we have to do here, just after getting the data from the first ajax.php, I'm going to get the new request for ajax2.php and here also have response but firstly do this so it will be here okay and now I'm also going to pass I will say response as response or if you are getting confused data as a response and now I will open ajax2 and here I will say dollar underscore post ding, 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 ding. and this will be data which we will get via ajax okay so this will be here okay and let's see the result because we have already consoling logging everything in we are doing so let's go and refresh the chrome aha that is because of this i have to do here so that will come up here reload and yeah we have the first one the real message is i'm from PHP file then I'm from ajax2 file but what if again I do the same thing and paste it here move it to ajax3.php and then data is again the original response and then logging out the response so let's open ajax3 here again I will say dollar underscore post ding 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 and here the data once more that should be in a small case okay reload the chrome and we are getting the real data is I'm from PHP file I'm from ajax2 file i'm from ajax3 file okay so we are getting three file responses are here everything is looking very fine but here you can see the codes are very very messed up and what if the first request goes wrong then no one is here to handle it yeah what if um, let's open PHP 1 and doesn't echo out okay what if we are not getting any data from first one we are still having but we are not getting that I am from PHP file which is for the first result because we are not getting we have to stop this thing so what we can say if not this one if response is not equal to anything else then move this out here and reload the page and yeah we are not getting anything because our response first response is empty so again if you have i have just three if you have lots of requested inside one and one and one and every time you are using this kind of error handling then it will be a messed up thing so what you need you need to destructure this so here comes our promises so to start the promise i will just comment this out so that i don't have to console any other thing okay 
so to start creating the promise you just have to firstly define a variable i will just say promise is equal to here you will define by creating a new keyword then you will say promise so promise and here it will accept two parameters as a function as a callback function so you have to define this keyword promise it will have a attribute first attribute as a callback function and this function have two parameter first is resolve and second is reject and i think as you guessed it right resolve means success and reject means failure so here you will define that if not that if something is true then resolve um, success and this one so that should be with double c then else part will have um, reject which says uh, new error error and error is oops something went wrong went uh, wrong so we have created our promise so let's just call this promise so to call promise it's super simple you just have to say the name of the promise which is promise and then we have exactly yeah as i told you then so we have to say then then means success part when this is succeeded so i have to say there will be a message and let's use arrow function and console log this message obviously this is not going to do anything because we don't have any message and we don't have anything so let's see what we are going to have on the console reload page and success is here okay so that's nice and this means our promise is working congratulations and now what i will do i will say false so then what will be the message so reload and we got uncaught in error oops something went wrong this is actually our error we have defined so actually we are handling error so this is the extremely simple way of learning what is exactly the promise so if you have any doubt please feel free to message me comment me or you can subscribe to my channel on youtube don't forget to like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram so till then bye bye